Here's what you're going to do. There's three reactants, obviously, and they want to know how much of this and this you're going to make. Well, you're going to have to do four problems, and here's why. You got to figure out using the hydrogen cyanide which one of these is the limiting reactant. Once you figure out the limiting reactant, you can figure out how much water is going to be made. So, what you're going to have to do, and I'm going to let you start this, and I'm using scientific notation, you're going to have to do three mass to mass problems to figure out how many grams of hydrogen cyanide you're going to make. And we're going to start with the NH3. So, what are we trying to get rid of, starting on the left? What units are we trying to get rid of? Grams of ammonia. So it goes on the bottom. We're trying to get to moles of ammonia because that's our key to the next room, right? Yes. Now, what's ammonia weigh? 17. 17. Now, what do we want to get rid of in this next step? Ammonia, moles of ammonia goes on the bottom. We're trying to get to moles of hydrogen cyanide. What's the ratio of hydrogen cyanide to ammonia? Uh, <laughs> two to two. And then finally, I want to get to grams of hydrogen cyanide. So I got to get rid of the moles of hydrogen cyanide. What's hydrogen cyanide weigh? Twenty-seven. All right. Now I'm going to leave that there, and you can figure the math in a few minutes here. So you're going to have to do this again. You have the same starting amount of O2 this time. Oh, I want to do this different. I'm going to show you why. I'm going to change colors here. So we're starting with 5 times 10 to the 6th grams of oxygen. This problem will change up to a certain point because we're still looking for grams of hydrogen cyanide. So everything in blue does not change because we're always looking for the same thing. Correct? All we're going to do now is put in oxygen's information. How much does O2 weigh? 32. What's the ratio of... So it's 2 to 3, right? 2 to 3. And then you set up the third one, same exact way. Maybe I'll change colors. We're starting with methane. What does not change? Everything at the end stays the same. Now, somebody tell me how to fill in the three blank spaces I have here. Grams of CH4 or moles of CH4. What's the moles get? What's the mole right here get? 
one. What's CH4 away? 16. And then what goes on the bottom here of CH4? Is it a 2 to 2? Yep. Now, some of you know how to use your exponent key or EE key on your computer or on your, on your um, calculator. It will make your life easy and you will not make mistakes if you do this. So here's how you're going to do the first one up here. You're going to punch in 5.0. Then you're going to find how to use this key that's labeled EE. And you're going to put 6 because the EE means times 10 to the I'm not sure, but some people didn't know how to use. Then we're going to go times, well, let's fix this, 1 to 1. We'll just times 27. Hit your Enter key so you're sure the inner order of operations is correct. Divided by 27. We actually, or 17, sorry. So this is for the first one. Somebody do that and tell me what your answer is. If you have a TI calculator, you have an EE key on it. Give me the first three numbers. 7.94. Huh? I know, but I changed it to scientific notation. If you used, <clears throat> now, guys and girls, all your answers will be in the millions. All right? So, do the next one. Same process. We can simplify this a little bit. So the next one's going to be 5, EE, e, 6, times 9, enter, divided by 16. Somebody give me that number. Somebody give me that number. Two point eight one times ten to the sixth. So far, so good. And then finally, same thing. And let's see if we can simplify here. One, one times twenty seven, enter. divided by 16. What do you get? 8.43 times 10 to the sixth. Which one is our limiting reactant? Oxygen now is our limiting reactant. That will also determine how much water we may make. So, <clears throat> on this one, you had to do three limiting reactant problems to figure out which one was the actual limiting reactant. So, this is how much this reaction will make now of the hydrogen cyanide. So now, you have to do it one more time with the oxygen because that's going to limit how much water is made. because you want to get to grams of H2O. So, somebody help me fill in this equation here. What do we want to get rid of? Grams of O2. What are we trying to get to? And what number does the moles get? One. 32. What do we want to get rid of? 
What do we want to get to? Water. Six to three or six to two? All right. And what do we want to get rid of? And we want to get to grams of water. <clears throat> water is 18. Now, we can simplify this if we want. Correct? Let's get rid of all our stuff we don't need. So, 6 goes in the 3 two times and that's about it so and what do you get Five point six times ten to the sixth. So there you go. Now there are going to be mole to mass, mass to mole, and those are just steps shorter. I'm going to give you a review to work on the rest of the hour. You can ask questions. I'll do it up on the board, and I'll post the key later today. So let me stop.